<laughs> Get a life, nerd. Hey everyone, Allie here, and a lot of you have been asking about the new streaming room, so I am going to take you in. I've got my tape measure, we're gonna do some measurements, and you're gonna help me plan my next streaming room. I'm gonna leave the comments open so you guys can tell me what I need to do. So here we go. Ooh, also, I didn't clean up on purpose. I want this Nerd Up Level Up series to be way more real and get you kind of behind the scenes of my life so you guys kind of know what it is I have to go through over here in Lakeland. So here we go. All right, so here is the front part of the streaming room. That's right, there is two parts. So, well, first off, like normal life, I have to walk over Nerf guns, got a Nerf gun here. Was that a Klondike wrapper? What, God, Lord. Uh, anyway, I got space for guests to come over. The bed is on the floor right now. I don't know what those cushions are doing. Got a little seating area. Of course, we got the mini fridge, box of something I need to redo. All TV land here. And then, whoop, whoop, the streaming room. So to get to my streaming room, we have to walk through kind of this bonus room, which is super cool. I love the gaming setup and Little Tots like it too. And I have this couch blocking my stream room to keep Little Tots out of here as much as possible because I need my space. But anyhow, this is my new streaming room. It might be temporary because there's space in the garage where I can eventually build out an even bigger streaming room but that requires dineros and it might have to wait for a little bit so for now streaming room is behind this door bum, ba, da, bum. it's a mess yeah uh so <laughs> this is my new streaming space i left it messy on purpose because I want you guys to be able to see the total transformation when I'm able to do that. We'll do like a before and after video, but this is the main wall I'm super excited about. This is where the magic happens. I'm working on my next video right now. You'll get to see that soon. It is a, a pauldron video. And then also, you know what? Look, there's this little subscribe button. You can, you can do, you can do that. If you like videos like this, you know, you know, maybe, maybe. So I'm gonna do this whole video with my phone. I could do it on my PC and get better graphics and better sound for you. But again, for this nerd up level up stuff, I also just kind of really want you guys to take a peek in my life. And you know, it's just, it's a little bit more transparent, more vlog style. I hope you guys like that. Uh, the next video we do in here is gonna be of me painting the room and getting it all together. I'm really excited. The next part of this video, we are going to talk about how to transform your space. How much space do you have? What do you need in it? What are the top things you have to have to make your, sp your space work? For me, this space has to have a craft table so I can build cosplay materials and make YouTube videos for you. It also has to have a streaming space because I stream on Twitch and I edit videos for YouTube. It also has to, over here-ish, maybe-ish, have a uh, gaming style backdrop for when I film gaming videos for my other YouTube channel, which is Alkali Lake, uh, and it is mostly a Hearthstone gaming page. So I really need three elements. I need a large craft table, which will go here. I need the gaming backdrop here, and then again, a streaming space. And I have this big window that's really bright I have to deal with. So we're gonna talk about that for a minute. So I just measured. And this room is 13 by 11, which means there's less space than I'd like, but enough space to work with if I'm smart about it. So a couple things. Uh, we talked about the things that I need for the room and how to make the room really work for me. And I'm gonna talk to you about light real quick because you can see my light went really bad here. But then if I turn here, I have great light. So you wanna use your windows. If you're somebody who loves being in a cave, then sure, cover up the window the desk can go uh, here. But if you're like me and I stream and I like to use natural light as much as possible, you pretty much have to put the desk here. So I'm really limited to two walls. I'll show you. So desk is here. I'm gonna use the natural light as much as possible. I will put up curtains to cover it when the light is uneven. Um, this wall is completely covered by a closet. Uh, it's actually a 
pretty big closet, which I like. Um, deep on one side here and then shelving on the other and lots of space up top. So I'm gonna utilize that. But again, I can't put anything in front of it. So I really have two walls, this one and this one. So this is where the craft desk is going to go. And what I'm gonna do is I, um, let's see, I bought four of the nine cube storage containers and two are gonna be end caps and then two are gonna be the front of the desk. And I have a tabletop that I'm gonna put on that. But the trick here is I need to install casters on the bottom of it because since my space is limited, I'm gonna to have to have the desk up against the wall for a backdrop when I'm streaming. So it'll look really cool, but then I can roll it out on the casters close to where I'm filming. That way I can make YouTube videos. So desk has to be on casters, we've got that but there's carpet in here. So I'm gonna have to get a low pile tight knit rug um, or uh, like a very large desk or chair mat, which I don't know even know if I can find those. I think I'm gonna go with a tight knit low pile carpet that I can roll the desk away from the wall. Like I said, to the computer station, I'm gonna roll it right up here so that way the cameras can focus on my workspace. So really excited about that. Another thing that works for me too here is I upgraded a little bit and spent the money to get a desk that is a sit stand. So when I'm streaming, I can have the desk lower. And then when I'm filming for YouTube videos for craft tutorials, I can raise it to the height of the desk that I'm putting on casters. So some pretty cool stuff happening. Um, another thing I want to address um, as we're kind of nearing the end of this video is the need to dampen my sound. And because I have little tots in this house, I have to, um, you know, dampen the sound for when I get really excited when I'm making um, gaming videos. So I bought these really, really cool sound dampeners, acoustic panels that are gonna go on the wall behind me above the craft desk. And these are pretty. Um, I think they're gonna be a little less effective than the foam panels. Um, so these ones are mostly just for show uh, and they're gonna be really gorgeous. They're gonna make a really cool effect on the wall. And when I light it with the LED lights, it'll change colors and I think have a really neat effect. So um, I hope that you guys like that. I'll link these in the panel because I posted these on Twitter and people had a lot of questions. But behind me here, oh, also watches the light change. It's bad now, see, you need to think about those things. So um, on this wall, which will pretty much never ever get seen on camera, I'm gonna put kind of the uglier um, foam panels for acoustics. So anyway, I hope you guys like this type of video, this style, more vlog style. Um, stay tuned, because we're going to next week, hopefully when my storage units come in to make the desk, we're gonna make that desk and I'm gonna post it here on YouTube. So if you've always wanted to make your very own custom craft desk that moves, make sure to hit like and subscribe because I will be posting that. And of course, all the links are below for the acoustic panels and the stream equipment that I used. Thank you so much for following and loving this stuff, you guys. I can't wait to bring you more content. I'm out, you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Get the life, nerd.